that I used to live in Canada for a few years, so I'm more familiar with these two. So I'm going to talk about the general differences that I have noticed, including uh, the education systems, the cultures, and the lifestyles. And I'll also share a few personal experiences that I had when I was in Canada, which were quite stupid, but I hope you all enjoyed it. So first, talk about the education systems. It's actually quite different between the two countries. The students in Canada um, tend to have more ability to pick what they want, truly want, and their they can choose their path for themselves. And the parents and the teachers tend to give them more chances to try and to be more creative and open-minded. So um, in general, I would say that Canadian students are more expressive. And then compared to the ta uh, Taiwanese students, basically I think all the students in Taiwan are quite stressed, right? Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Because I think, um, let's say, you probably just follow the set schedules and you can choose whatever courses that you're interested in and you only got a one chance um, worldwide exam examination just for one shot and then you're set to a certain university that you probably don't even like and you have to do a subject that you probably don't even, you, you probably don't even heard about before. So I think that's a really huge difference between the two countries and I would say that the Asian students or Chinese students are disciplined. So, but I think you guys are not as happier as those kids in the um, in the Western countries. I would say, and that's the education system difference that I've noticed before. And speaking of the cultural differences, um, in Canada, when people tell you no, they mean no. But in Taiwan, or I would actually say Asia, people tend to say maybe or yeah, sure, but what they actually mean is actually a no. So I think that's just how um, Asian people are more used to. So that's, I think that's just a cultural difference. And another thing that's quite different is that in Canada, people actually say hi or greet people on the street, just random to the strangers they meet and they, a random person who has eye contact with them, they just say, hey, how are you? I'm, I'm, I'm blah, 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 and I hope you have a nice day. But in Taiwan, if you just greet a random person on the street, you'll be, think, you'll be considered as a slightly mental disorder, right? Right there. <laughs> People will think that you're very weird. So I think I wasn't really used to that when I first moved to Canada, because I think it's quite weird just to talk to a random person on the street, but it's actually quite nice if you just get a greet from a person on the street and that makes you happy like all the day. And um, speaking of the lifestyles, um, a huge difference that I've noticed is that the people in Canada tend to do things with a slower pace, but in Taiwan it's very hurried and very busy. Like you, you I, I don't know why, but it seems like people in Asia always have like a set mindset and you are just rushed with that like all the time and you're just stressed with that. And that's quite different in Canada. They just do things with, uh, the, what, with what they want. Like It's not like very, very strict time. They just do things based on their mood. So sometimes the work can be delayed very uh, for, for a long time, but they do things with a very happy mood, unlike in Asia. So that's quite different. And another difference that I've noticed is that um, there's no, uh, Canada doesn't, doesn't have that many night activities compared to Taiwan. Like in Taiwan, you can go to karaoke, it's like 24 hours, and there are 7 Elevens like every block, and you can basically just go to a night market whenever you want. But in Canada, the street is basically empty with no human beings after like 7 or 8 p.m. So that's very different as well. So that's basically the three differences that I've noticed based on education systems, the cultures, and the lifestyles. And now I'm going to share a few personal um, life experiences before when I first moved to Canada, which were quite embarrassing, but I think it's quite fun. The first one is, um, I remember that there was a PE class, and I was having a badminton game. And I won the game, so my team member came to me and he gave me this he was like this. You guys know what that means, right? 
He was trying to do a fist bump with me and just celebrate our teamwork together, so like this. He was expecting this, but I thought he was trying to play rock, paper, scissors, so I gave him this. <laughs> and he laughed at a lot, like, on, like, right away, and it was actually quite fun, but it was very embarrassing for me. And the second experience that I had was that um, one time I saw one of my friends who was busy with his work, so I asked him if I needed to grab some food for him. And he said, I'm good. And I thought that something like, yeah, sure, thank you. So I grabbed an extra large size meal set from McDonald's, and I was very satisfied that I could actually helped him. So I grabbed the meal size and I, was asked, I, I gave it to him, and he was like totally speechless, because what, what it really means in English, I'm good, is no, thank you. But I didn't get the point, so I thought he was trying to say, yeah, thank you. So I actually got him like an extra size large like large fries and large burgers, so it was very stupid, but I think that's quite fun, to be honest. And that's basically just the two little life experiences that I have, and I think my time is about to be all right. Okay, so um, if any of you want to visit Canada, just let me know, and I'll show you around and give you the most unforgettable memories. Thank you. Thank you, me. Well, now I definitely know that when Taiwanese people say no to me, <laughs> that they actually uh, uh, mean something else. But well, I think maybe I'm lucky if I have some emotional intelligence.